All right, little Veterans Day chest and shoulder blast at Iron Heaven. Uh, thank you to all the veterans out there, uh, especially U.S. Navy veterans, which is the branch I served. Uh, I believe the Marines had a birthday yesterday, so um, happy belated birthday to the Marines and know that you will always be a department of the Navy. So in that respect, uh, starting off as usual with uh, flat bench dumbbell presses. And I'm at a crossroads with this exercise because I can't see this is the second week in a row that I haven't made any progress. So the last push session I had, I had 130s for a gruesome five. And this workout, I had two sets at 120 for nine reps. And then I did 135 for yet a gruesome five or six. I don't remember. So in any event, um, I'm at a crossroads with this. Do I lighten the weight up, go for a full range of motion and just up the sets that I do or do I swap out the exercise so I'm leaning towards swapping out the exercise to be quite honest with you for the simple fact that I'm just not I'm not making progress at first it came pretty fast it came really really fast and now it's just kind of stalled out so like I said I'm leaning towards just dropping it um <clears throat> but we'll see um, my elbow left elbow is feeling a little bit crunchy during these reps as well and um you know it's just something that i have to just continuously analyze in my training uh swapping exercises in and out um just to make sure that i'm progressing at the level that i would like uh so i like to get back to incline press free bar incline press or I may just add a slight incline to this and try to progress on that and then go back to flat bench. So I'm going to bounce it off a couple of people's heads that I know and they won't bullshit me. They'll let me know what's up. But um, yeah, this exercise, I do believe, is done for. We're here with uh, now with probably uh, my second most favorite chest exercise, uh, the hammer strength incline press. It's something that I use year round. You know, I just think it's a quality movement. Um, not too rough on the shoulders, not too rough on the elbows. Um, so got up to three plates and a 10 pounder here. Um, just trying to get the reps in. Uh, a lot of people will probably consider this junk volume and it, it may have been, you know what I'm saying? But also at the same time, you're not gonna grow a chest with just eight total sets a week. It just ain't gonna happen. You're not Dorian Yates, right? And even if you had the genetics to be Dorian Yates, you'd be far ahead of everyone else that's doing this. So up the volume a little bit. Um, it's not the driver of muscle growth, but I personally believe it is a driver of muscle growth. So that's just me. Uh, did four sets here and then moved on to uh, some body weight dips. But overall, the uh, workout was really good today, at least as far as the chest portion goes. Uh, still working within that full range of motion. As you can see, I get all the way down low with my dips and come all the way up. Um, so yeah, no excuses, guys. You gotta get to it, you gotta get to it.
And moving on to shoulders. Uh, this is just chest and shoulders. Today, again, triceps get their day on arm day. So warming up in the matrix machine press. Not really going uh, balls heavy on this. As again, I believe that shoulders believe uh, shoulders and arms are more of a metabolic pump style training. A lot of damage, uh, a lot of higher rep sets. So the lowest I went was about eight. Uh, I really should have went for more 10 to 15, but you know, low does play a difference in uh, getting bigger, stronger and all that. So uh, went up to two plates, kind of kept it there and <clears throat> just went for more of the pump than anything. Full range of motion, uh, as much as my elbows would allow. And uh, God, this, this was probably the closest I've ever felt to a dumbbell uh, press for shoulders. It was uh, pretty much a wreck after that. Up next, upright rows. I, I have a love-hate relationship with this exercise. I don't do it too often, but every time I do it, I think I'm Dennis James. So uh, just trying to hit the medial head. Um, not the cleanest form, but really put a lot of pressure on the side out. So we'll keep at it like this. Uh, got some trap in there, a little bit upper back, but Ooh, boy, I blew up my side that was like nothing, nothing else I've done. I did this morning. Um, so, I mean, it was really, really good. So, a couple of performance points. Uh, I always strap up, even if it is 95 pounds. I was actually using Texas Power Bar for that, so my grip would have gave out before anything else. Um, also, elbows out, kind of leave with your elbows on this movement. Um, it's something that I'll probably just throw in not to necessarily make a lot of progress on them, but just to keep the pump alive, uh, as Jesse Jackson would say, or somebody like me. Um, in any event, went on to some high lateral raises with the machine, on this machine, trying to imitate the way that I do dumbbell laterals and keep constant tension on them via machine. Um, it pretty much worked as my side delts blew up, kept the weight the same for all three sets, and then just rolled up out the gym. So there we go. A little Veterans Day blast, and uh, it was something I enjoyed doing. So, I uh, hope you enjoy watching this workout. Uh, I hope you, if, you, if you have any questions, just give me a holler on IG or on Twitter, or even at the in the comment section below. All right, once again, happy Veterans Day to everyone that served, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button for me.